Keep those horses quiet. But Silas... Yes, do like I told you. Keep the horses quiet. You come with me. Over there, behind them bushes. Pa, you can't do this. You'll only start you trouble. You just keep quiet and do what I but, tell you. Pa, what you're doing now is... Now, get, talking. boy. Get your hands behind your back engine. Remember me? In that Cherokee village? I was trading for pelts and you came along. I remember. You tried to cheat those people. I had to pay more for those skins. You cost me money. I made you pay a fair price. And now you're going to pay, engine. I'm going to teach you to mind your own business. You're going to learn to know your place. You're going to learn a lesson. You're the one who needs the lesson, not to be a cheat. Don't you talk insolent to me, Engine. That tree over there. Spread eagle him. Give me the whip. Oh, Silas, don't. He's got to learn his but lesson. That's a terrible thing to do. Better learn to mind his own business. I'll hunt you down wherever you go. I'll find you. And I'll kill you. Top of old Dan to the heel of his rawhide shoe. The rippinest, roaringest, fightingest man the frontier ever knew. Daniel Boone was a man, yes, a big man. And he fought for America to make all Americans free. What a boom, what a doer, what a dream, come a doer was he. Here's supposed to be Jericho's job, but he had to try his hand at hunting this morning. Well, now, since Nattis, it's good for you. Sweeping? Well, sure. You need to exercise. Uh, Besides, I haven't seen you square dance with a broom in a month of Sundays. Sweeping is for young'uns and women, and I ain't neither. Morning, Zach. Morning. Morning, Daniel. Cincinnatus. Zach, you sure come in here like a team of mules. What you so excited about? Well, he's due today. <laughs> yes, sir, he's due. Who's due? His brother Silas from Philadelphia. Becky's expecting you. Shed's all fixed up, and you can start sleeping there beginning tonight. What's the matter with his own cabin? Oh, I'm, I'm giving that to my brother and his family to live in until they build a cabin of their own. <laughs> I'm much obliged to you, Daniel. I'm much obliged. I want to greet my brother right, Cincinnati. I want to I wanna buy him a gift, a, a housewarming gift. I want to get him a tablecloth. <laughs> you sure are getting fancy, ain't you? <laughs> well, that's a way of expressing my feelings, my genuine pleasure. 
I ain't seen Silas in 10 years. You know that, Dan. Last time I saw him, his little boy, Johnny, he weren't no bigger than that. Pollywog, is what I used to call him. <laughs> Pollywog. Could be a pretty good sized frog by now. Oh, he's uh, you know, 19 if he's a day. 20, maybe. My brother Silas and his wife and that boy. That's all the kin I got, Daniel. Well, I'm glad they finally decided to come. Yeah. Engines it took my family. Silas is all I got left. Massacre! Massacre! A whole party wiped out! A whole party wiped out, Daniel. What? I seen it. All of them dead. There's smoke and burning stuff lying all around. Now, hold on. Now, say it clear. What did you see? About 10 miles back up the trail, a trader's wagon burned, and all three of them massacred. How many? They're still lying back there. I went up to see if I could find out who they were. The man had a wallet. The name in the wallet was Silas Morgan. And this was in him, clean up to the hilt. This looks like Mingo's. Mingo's? You, you said Mingo's? Are you sure? Well, I ought to know his knife. But it don't make sense. What would Mingo's knife? His? That, that Indian's? His? Now listen, it ain't possible. If Mingo's knife was up there, then... Then Mingo was there. Then Mingo did it. And he'll pay for this. I'll see to that. I'm going out and find him, and Mingo will get his knife back up. Now, hold on. Oh, no, you're not putting a knife on anybody. And besides, you know Mingo. I know a couple of things. He's an Indian, and that's his knife. He's no killer, and you know that. They all are. Every single murdering red savage. Educated or not, they all are. This was to be my welcoming gift. You've all lost somebody to those savages. What are you going to do, just stand around and do nothing? Zack, don't try to stampede these people without the facts. That knife, that's enough facts. No, it's not. It doesn't prove anything. That's so. Anybody can steal a man's knife. A man can even lose his knife. Cincinnatus is talking sense. No point going off half cock, Zack. It sure don't make sense, Mingo. The first thing to do is to go out there and find out what happened before we accuse anybody. I'm with you, Daniel. It ain't right to jump to conclusions like that. The party's got to go out there. Let's look. Let's make sure. We're going to need horses. Go get them, Jericho. We'll move out of here in 15 minutes. Right. Are you going, Zach? Taking this with me. This was to be my housewarming gift for him. I'll be bringing my brother home in it. My thanks to your missus, Daniel. I won't be needing your shed now. Jemima? Where is that girl? Jemima! Oh, Dan, have you seen Mima? Nope. There's going to be no supper ready for the Morgans when they arrive if that girl keeps disappearing. I'm baking a cake and she's out running around. There's not going to be any supper, Becky. Why? And Zach won't be standing. What in the world are you talking about? Jericho found Zach's brother and his family 10 miles down the trail. They were dead. All three of them. Oh, Dan, no. And he found this in Silas Morgan's body. That looks like Mingo's. Oh, it can't be Mingo. It can't be. Well, that's the burial party starting out for the place. I'll be back kind of late, Becky. Dan! I'll never believe he had anything to do with it. I can't believe he had anything to do with it either, Becky. But what about them? What about them out there?
Channel? Channel, I found something over here. Mingo. That's Mingo shirt. I done seen it a hundred times. Look at that stitching. It's ripped like it was tore right off his back. Channel. Beads from a necklace. hand some more beads from the same necklace he must have grabbed at him do you recognize him do you recognize him they're mingos they're mingos the boy must have torn loose during the struggle no he couldn't have done it now wait a minute wait a minute the shirt the knife the beads all mingos what more do you want well, that settles it for sure. For sure, Mingo did it. Well, we ought to go get him right now. There ain't many places around here he can hide. Let's yeah. go. What? Now, hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on for what? I know it looks bad, but no one's asked that one important question. No one's even bothered with it. What question? Why? Why would Mingo do this? What possible reason could he have? He don't need no reason. He's an engine. He's got the hate built right into him. Right. Well, now, how does that hate work? Like the way yours is working right now? Are you trying to stop us from going after Mingo? No. But there's a proper way of doing these things. Now, listen. You got a responsibility to us, to the settlement, to protect it and to keep folks safe. Now, if you won't do it, that means the end of the settlement. You understand? The end. You got a duty to us. You stall, and that's the end. Well, if you do what you're trying to do right now, that may be the end of it. Oh, I've had enough of this. I've had enough of talking. All I've ever gotten from engines is grief. Give me that weapon. I'm going after Mingo myself. Step and I'll get you. You're not much different from whoever did that. You're sure ready to murder almost anyone at all, aren't you? Oh, Daniel. Be out in the wilderness, but nobody here has got the right to take justice into their own hands. Daniel, you still sound like you're trying to protect Mingo. Why? Because he's your friend. I'm just trying to protect the law, that's all. Well, that engine deserves hanging. Well, that's for a judge and a jury to decide, not you. I figure the first thing we got to do is a civilized thing. Let's get these poor folks back to the settlement and give them a proper burial. And then we'll go after Mingo and we'll give him a trial. Has it agreed? Now they're just getting further away. That's right. You're just giving Mingo more time. Well, there's not many places he can go where we can't find him. We'll find him. Now, is it agreed? We can all for sure attract one Indian. Let's load those horses. Daniel, things sure look bad for Mingo. I wouldn't trust him, Daniel. They're not going to cool off. They'll hang Mingo the minute they set eyes on him. That's why right after the burying, I'm going after Mingo. Alone.
place his Mingo will go to. Find him and bring him back. Take care of him, Dad. Protect him. That's why I'm going alone, Becky. I'm frightened, Dad. I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't go. Maybe no one should. Let him go? Is that what you mean? I've got a responsibility to this settlement, Becky. I can't let him go, and I can't let them go after him with a rope. I'll bring him back, and he'll get a fair trial. You believe he did it. You do. The knife, the shirt, the beads. I don't know, Becky. I don't know anymore. Boone's gone. Huh? Yeah, he took off. I just come from his cabin. I seen him taking off. He's oh, gone to warn Mingo. That's what he's gonna do. Yeah, to save that murdering Indian's neck. Yeah. yeah. Now that ain't true. Daniel's yeah. gonna bring Mingo back, but he don't trust you, man. He thinks you're a hanging party. He's gonna bring him back. Oh, well, that's just fine. <laughs> that's just fine. You gone daft? He's gonna go warn that engine. What you thinking of, Zach? He's just making things easier for us. That's all. Can't you see that? You want Mingo? Yeah. yeah. And all we've got to do is follow Mr. Boone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's get on the trail. Zach! Zach, listen to me! Zach! I look for Mingo. I look for Mingo. Where is Mingo? I know nothing.
Choctaws are silent. All right. I'll look into every lodge. Daniel? There's no need for that. There were three people murdered 10 miles out of Boonesboro. Do you know anything about it? No. Knife, your torn shirt, your beads on the ground and in the boy's hand. Can this be my brother speaking to me? Do you believe I did it? All I want is the truth. All right, then. I'll tell you the truth. I did not do it. Trader was cheating the Cherokee, and I stopped him. Later, he and the boy caught up with me on the trail. They tied me to a tree, and they whipped me. They whipped me until I was unconscious. They whipped me until I hung from that tree like a dead animal. Later, when I came to, I was crawling through the woods. I don't know, maybe they cut me down. I don't know. The Choctaws found me there, crawling. They brought me here and they nursed me. I didn't hurt anyone. Your knife. I don't know how my knife got there. Oh, my shirt, all the beads around my neck. I just don't know. You don't believe me, do you? Mingo, you've got to come back to Boonesboro with me. <laughs> my friend. My brother. I am your friend. And your brother. But you've got to come back and tell everyone what you've just told me. <laughs> Why, do you think they'd believe me? You don't, do you? You think these scars are reason enough to kill a man, don't you? Well, so will the others. And I wanted to. Oh, how I wanted to. You've never been whipped like a dog. Mingo, come back, and I'll try to find out the truth. I told you the truth. I'm not going back with you, Daniel. Oh, you'd be fair, I know that, but not those others. They'd hang me without a single question. You know you'd have a trial, Mingo. Once in that settlement, I don't stand a chance. I'm finished. Trial or no trial. There are men out there in the woods right now looking for you. But they could have followed you. They could have followed you here. Mingo, come back to the settlement with me. There's no other way I can protect you. There's no way I can do anything for you. There's just no other way. Oh, yes, there is. Mingo, go. It'll only make things worse. Everyone will be certain that you killed the Morgans. I'm not putting myself in their hands. Don't run, Mingo. They'll shoot you. Don't run. 
Well, they'll hang me if I stay. There he is. Oh! Don't come any closer. I don't want to shoot any of you, but I will. You hear? We hear. I'm taking him back to the settlement, and tomorrow I'm taking him into Salem. He's going to get a chance to tell his story before the official court. Get up, Mingo. I'll go back with you, Daniel, because I'm forced to. But I know one thing. I'm being led to my death by my brother. What do you want? I've come to tell about Mingo. Come on in. You hear them, Danny? They're yelling for my blood. They're not yelling so loud. I think maybe they're simmering down. Daniel, let me go. Let me go while there's still time. Be all right, Mingo. I'll take you to Salem tomorrow. You're taking me to my grave. Very well, then. What was between us is over. We're no longer brothers. You're delivering me to my enemies. And that's what we are now. Enemies! Listen. While you're safe in Salem, I'll find out the truth. You know I won't stop until I find it out. I told you the truth! What we need is proof. We need proof. Daniel, what's more important, the law or my life? I brought you a bite of supper, Mingo. Rebecca, will you tell him to let me go before it's too late? Will you tell him? Can't you understand? Both are important. The law and your life. I don't know what to say, Mingo. I'm frightened for both of you. You see, something's going to happen. Give me a gun. Daniel, I'm asking you to let me go. At least give me a fighting chance. Dan? Dan, there's a squaw, a young squaw in the tavern. She just got here. Her name is Kudawari. And she's telling everybody that she saw Mingo do it. She did what? She said she was there. She was hiding in the woods. She said she saw it all. She lies. She lies. She said she came to prove that the Cherokees were our friends. But right now, she is telling everybody in that tavern that she saw Mingo do it. Go home. Watch me go. Daniel, let me out of here! Let me out! Let me out of here! All right, are you satisfied now? Yeah. 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 Right there. She saw him there. 
there. He killed them. All three. All three. Then Mingo ran. All right, now what have you got to say? I say that's our proof. He's our man, all right. She's seen him do it. Some of you were beginning to doubt it was Mingo. Does anybody doubt it now? Come at it, yeah. That's, that's, it. that's, that's the proof. Oh. Indians have done enough and gotten away with it. One of them has got to be made an example for the others. Is that judge and jury in Salem any better than us? No. no. And have we got enough evidence? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Get a rope. Get a rope for Mingo. Yeah. to me. Listen to who? Mingo's friend? This is going to be Mingo's friend. This! The squaw seen him do it. Well, let's talk to her. You talk to her. We're going to act. You've got no right to take the law in your own hands. Yeah. Mingo did. Every man has a right to a fair trial. And Mingo's had it. If you do this, this is the end of the settlement. The Indians won't trust us any longer. Well, maybe this is the only way they can learn. And you settlers won't feel it's safe to come here. My brother thought it was safe to come here. And look what happened to him. Now, Zach, you're making a mistake. Wait, wait, please, I gotta speak Let to you. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Zach. He's gone. Mingo's gone, and it's your fault. You held us up. All right, get everybody. We're going after Wait, him. Mingo's got a gun. What do you think this is? There ain't no stick. We got guns, too. And we got this. Listen, Mingo will use that gun if he has to. He's dangerous now. He won't get a chance to use that gun. Well, what makes you think you can hunt him better than he can hunt you? If you try, there's no telling how many of you'll get hurt. Now, let me go alone, and I promise you I'll bring him back. Oh, you've done that once before. All you did was protect him. There's always a chance that he's innocent. But you're turning him into a criminal now, and you'll really turn him into a murderer if you go after him in this way. Now, I'm tired of all this talk. In the meantime, he's getting further away, huh? Are we going after him or not? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. Daniel? Dan? Dan? Ringo got away, he heard Jericho. It's about that Indian squaw, the one who told the story about Mingo. Well, what about her? I tried to talk to her, and she wouldn't answer me. In fact, she fought me to get away. She ran out of the fort into the woods. There's something strange about her. Strange? She was frightened, very frightened. And maybe she was lying. She wanted to get away. She looked like a half-breed, Dan. She had blue eyes. You look after Jericho. I'm going after Mingo. I'm going with you. You stay here. There's only you and Cincinnati to look after Boonesboro. Well, there's only one thing to pray for now. What? Mingo doesn't kill him. Daniel, can you hear me? 
you hear me? I hear you, Daniel. I've got to talk to you. Don't come any closer. I don't want to hurt you, but I will defend my life. tried to talk to her, and she fought her and ran away. Now, there's something wrong. If you're telling the truth about what happened between you and the Morgans, we've got to find that squaw. Don't you understand? Or maybe you're afraid. Maybe she really was telling the truth about seeing you. The squaw is lying. All right, Lynn, let's find her. Now, if you're innocent, we've got to prove it. There's not much time, and all of Boonesboro is after you. All right, Daniel. Let me up. It's your gun. Becky said Kudawari was dressed like one of the river tribes. That means she'll be heading for the old hire of the Blue Licks. We'll find her together. Well, not together. You said there's not much time. Well, if we split up, we can find her much more quickly. I trusted you. Now let's see if you trust me. meet in two days at Finley's Lake. Two days, Finley's Lake. I keep looking. He can't have disappeared from the face of the earth. Keep looking. Zach. Hey, Zach. Prince. Ain't more than a half day old. Now, those are moccasins. Let's go. Oh, now, those prints could be anybody's. And they could be Mingo's. the rifle down. The gun! Down. Squaw. Came into Boonesboro and told a story about Mingo. And yet the trader's possessions are here. I trade. I give fair pelts for them. Does a man trade off his cooking pot? What's he gonna use on the trail? A nose. What's he gonna wear on the trail? And 
Did he come in the wilderness to trade women's dresses? Or is this his wife's dress? And that. Circle way around. Look, come on down the center. The rest of you come with me. Said, get that rope off of him. Mango is innocent. He didn't kill your brother, Zach. He did. said talk. He cheated. The traitor cheated me and my people. So I followed him. And you saw the traitor whip Mingo, didn't you? And then what? He... He cut him down. Mingo laid there. Not moving. I think now is my chance. You took Mingo's shirt and his necklace 
And you used his knife, and you left his things there. The traitor cheated in the village. But Mingo does not punish him. Mingo was a coward. So I punish him. I punish them all. And you sent Kudawari into Boonesboro? Yes, to protect me and to protect my people. And to make sure we hung Mingo. And I found these at his lodge. going to do to him what you almost did to me. I haven't killed anyone yet, but if you try this, I will. I will, to protect this man's life. All right. We made a mistake, but he's guilty. He said it. Guilty or not, hang a man like this is wrong. It's always wrong. Well, you talk about your law. You want the Indian to respect it. Well, let it respect him. Prove to us that there's some justice in your law, that we're not at the mercy of a mob. If you hang this brave, then the Indians and us were nothing but murderers facing each other. And there'll never be any lasting peace or friendship in this wilderness. Well, what do you say? You want to make the Indians hate us more and prove again they can't get justice? He's right. We, we got to obey the law. Yeah, we ought to take him to Salem and have a trial. What do you say, Zach? Salem. I figure I was wrong. <laughs> Right now, this wilderness seems a little more civilized. Daniel Boone was a man, yes, a big man. With an eye like an eagle and as small as a mountain was he. Daniel Boone was a man, yes, a big man. He was brave. He up as a mighty old tree. From the coonskin cap on the top of old Dan to the heel of his rawhide shoe. The riffinest, roarinest, fightinest man the frontier ever knew. Daniel Boone was a man, yes, a big man, with an eye like an eagle and as tall as a mountain was he. Yes, a big